We develop a deep reinforcement learning framework that generates control policies to imitate and retarget complex multi-character physical interactions given input reference motions. The policy uses interaction graph to generate target joint angles that are then used to produce joint torques to actuate the characters. We showcase a result where two characters are controlled by our policy to perform complex salsa dancing. One of the character's body sizes is made shorter than the character in the reference motion. The close interactions between the characters are well preserved from the policy learning regardless of the character's shape. To preserve the motion quality of the character and the spatial relationship during the interaction, we utilize an interaction graph structure that captures the relative spatial relationship of different body parts at each frame. We design a novel reward function that measures the similarity between the interaction graph in the simulation and the one in the reference at every frame. We apply an adaptive weighting function to the edges in the graph to emphasize the importance of closely interacting edges. By maximizing the similarity, we can get policies for multi-character interactions of various complexity. We first show successful policies on light interactions, where interactions are of short duration with little physical forces. Here we have an imitation policy using our method to control two characters doing rapper-style greetings. We visualize the interaction graph between characters, where the opacity shows the importance of the edges. When we make one character taller and the other one shorter, our method is able to retarget the motion so that relative distances between hands, elbows, shoulders, and legs of the two characters are preserved. Here is another example of light interaction policy, where one character learns to plank, while the other character learns to jump over the first. When training with one taller and one shorter character, the taller character learns to lower the waist for the shorter character to jump over. We further demonstrate heavy interaction motions where significant forces occur between the two characters. We show two characters controlled by our policy to perform lift push-up exercise, where one character is doing push-ups with legs grasped and lift by the other character. Our method can retarget the interaction motion when we downscale the character doing push-up. We observe the yellow character actively seek to reach and lift blue character's leg. We show another example where two characters are performing salsa dance with hand grasped. When we downscale one of the characters, our method is able to generate policies that successfully maintain the grasping while performing a series of challenging salsa moves with hands held between the two characters. We compare this motion by showing reference motion of characters in original scale. In addition to motion that require grasping, we further demonstrate a heavy interaction sequence that requires supporting forces. Here, the two characters are performing salsa dance and one dancer leans backward while the other supports the first dancer from falling down. The general supporting forces and arm interlocking are successfully preserved using our method when we make the yellow character shorter. We first showcase policies for two characters throwing and catching a small box. When a character is made shorter, our method is still able to produce retargeted motions to finish the box throwing and catching with correct box holding positions.
We show another example where two characters are collaborating to carry and move a large box. When a character is downscaled, the interactions associated with carrying and moving the box are preserved. Finally, we show that our method can be easily set up and applied to transfer the interactions to dissimilar characters from the reference. We replace the simulated human characters with immobile Baxter robots. Our method can directly train policies to control the Baxter robots performing high five motions by learning from the human character's reference motion. Furthermore, we can produce policies to control a human character performing greeting motions with a Baxter robot. We compare the outcome of our approach with commonly used join-based reward function. Our method successfully maintains the relative spatial location between two characters' elbow when one character is taller and the other character is shorter. However, Joint-based reward function fails to produce policies to maintain such relationship. We further explore the advantage of the edge weighting function. We show that when the edge weighting function is applied, we can generate more natural retargeted motions. When the edge weighting function is not applied, the taller character chooses to bend the knees to a large unnatural angle 